What's going on YouTube? Giasno right here. So in today's video I have big news for those of you waiting for an A12 jailbreak. And yes, by A12 I mean the iPhone XS, XS Max or XR and the latest iPad Pros. But before we continue, big shout out to the Jedi panel and iJedi M3. They're big jailbreak fans and big jailbreak helpers in the community. Massive progress is being made towards a jailbreak with tweaks and stuff like that. So just a few hours ago Pound to Own posted quote, if you're interested in a temporary solution to load tweaks on A12 devices without Cydia or Apt, follow Jake James. Now Jake James has been working pretty hard lately and Sammy has posted quote, code injection substitute on my iPhone XS Max A12 with Jake James's rootless jailbreak. The tweak is called 6 for lock screen and Jake's work for the past few days has been amazing. Follow him for updated about his A12 jailbreak with code injection. So Jake James has managed to basically get substitute to work fine on A12 and to run some tweaks. This is actually pretty massive because if you remember we do not have any jailbreak with proper Twix injection on A12 for the moment. So these devices, the iPhone XS, XS Max and XR and the latest iPads are currently not jailbroken with Twix. So this is actually a massive step since Sammy, one of the testers for Jake James, managed to run properly a tweak on his device. He posted another picture, quote, another tweak running on rootless jailbreak by Jake James. And of course it's on A12. Now Jake James has posted this, quote, I updated my substitute fork with a few more fixes. Check it out here. And he made it open source in here on GitHub. And this is actually very, very good. Now that the substrate is no longer updated by source, we have to rely on substitute or something based on substitute. For example, this in here. Jake James is basically pushing his changes and his updates towards the substitute, which is actually very good because this means that we can finally get a version of substitute that works fine and doesn't drain the battery and of course works on A12. So if you're interested in the substitute, keep an eye on Jake James because he's doing massive steps in the community towards getting a jailbreak to work with the A12 devices. As I said, Sammy managed to get successfully tweaks running on his A12 device, which hasn't been seen before. So of course this is a massive step towards a proper jailbreak and at this point we're very very close. So for those of you who are having an A12 device, do not update it past iOS 12.1.2. Updating it to iOS 12.2 will mean that you are not going to get any jailbreak anytime soon since iOS 12.2 doesn't have any publicly available exploits. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Follow Jake James for more information about his rootless jailbreak. I'm going to keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. Till the next time, peace out.